Good morning. It is, I don't know, eight something. <laughs> and my eye is still weepy. It is day one of Gen Con. I am caffeinated. And oh my gosh, so many people. Chandler, look at all these people. Good morning. Hi, hi, hi. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing How's great. How's the West okay? I'm so our, doing first great. <laughs> our first event, the Tracy Hickman's Dragonlance. Oh yeah, fuck that guy. 300 people, yeah. e-tickets. Flawless. Oh, good. Flawless. Eight tickets? So, hmm? How many tickets did you say? 300. Sold out. Oh, good. Sold out. Morning, Julio. Good morning. You're good. You're good. Stay there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I, I need to be on the road soon. So the Westin is off to a great start. I just checked in with Chandler and Julio. And if you're in the Westin, it is probably Chandler and Julio helping you out at the GM HQ, uh, the event HQ over here. And they're awesome. And they're very cool so make sure you say hi to them and apparently everything is going very smoothly but this is the biggest the busiest i've ever seen the western be in the morning for like you know especially a thursday morning and it's going so well so far and maybe they started putting some events up here rather than just anime and the film stuff and the big stage so i think it's all coming up mill house for the western all right, I'm meeting Andrew right now, and we are going to do, get a good spot for, thank you, the entering of the exhibitor hall. So yeah, it's fun. Oh, and I got coffee. Hello. Hello. You want to say hi to? I want to say hi to everybody back in Memphis, all my family, my grandkids, Memphis. and everybody at the hockey rink. Okay, that's cute. Uh, what are you doing here this year? What's different? I I'm working this year. Uh, it's the 40th anniversary of Battletech, so we've got a ton of stuff going on. Um, gosh, just getting ready to enjoy the comp and out. And if anybody's watching and wants to check out Battletech and Catalyst stuff, where should they go? Yes, we're in the gaming hall. You cannot miss us. Uh, we've got the largest sign back here with the entire back area of the hall. Tons of Battletech, tons of pods, lots of stuff going on. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You're all going to be in it. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> So Scott and Jennifer just said hi, and look what they made for me. They put my name on it. They made me a knitting needle gauge uh, thing. I can't believe it. And Scott actually has a business he's launching on Etsy right after Gen Con. Yeah. Your, and he's like, goal? I guess he's laser cutting um, a variety of different research, like wood items. Uh, he's so cool, uh, and Jennifer was so awesome. But you should wife. check up Ninth and Pine on Etsy on after Gen Con and hey, really like this. see what Bye -bye. super cool wood things he's making. Because this thing, 20, 50, he put my name on it. I'm just, I can't even. That what is what? The worst angle, but it's right. not a. It's a video. <laughs> <laughs> Mur, I love your shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, I got it from a punk with a camera on Instagram. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> also, while sitting here, I've noticed a few conversations that had questions that I thought I could help answer. So within the Gen Con community, the opening of the Exhibitor Hall has become known as the running of the nerds. And it's very fun, especially on your first year. I recommend watching it. If you want, you can absolutely participate. It is not dangerous. Nobody ever gets trampled or hurt. It's not scary at all. It's just you gotta line up early and sacrifice some of your time and energy to be down there um, waiting for, I would say an hour maybe. But it's not dangerous. You can totally do the running of the nerds. It's not a problem. Or you can just watch, which is what I do, and it's super fun. So right here outside of Hall I is one of the main entrances to the Exhibitor Hall. People line up here about an hour, two hours before the hall opens. You can totally get pretty close to the front at about an hour before maybe even less time, but you're just sacrificing some time and energy. At some point, they will close down those escalators on both directions because the crowd right at the bottom just gets a little bit too much and they'll just shut them down and people will use both the stairs and the escalators.
there's a standing space to watch all of these people try to get into the hall. Again, it's not dangerous, just, you know, be considerate of other people, don't take up too much space. Then you can also watch the, you know, the running of the nerds from where I'm sitting, which is on the first floor balcony, with all these other people. And then also up here, up here, there's also a balcony up there that you can kind of watch at. It's kind of a maze to get to, but you could do it. Um, and you get a pretty good top-down view of how many people there are. And it's a lot of fun. Now, let me dig into that a little bit further. The convention will have about 80,000 people at it. And there's not 80,000 people at the show today, but if, if thousands of people try to line up outside one room to get access to the exhibitor hall, that would be a problem yes. for safety and fire marshalling and things like that. And they used to do they used to do a thing uh, down here on the stage. Then there on the stage they used to do a, a little bit of a ceremony where Peter Atkinson and whoever you know the owners or president, some staff members would give a little speech, do a little intro to Gen Con. They'd roll the two six-sided die. Uh, donate that money to charity and then announce that you the hall would be opening soon. Kevin, who was an excellent, excellent Gen Con captain, he's retired since, would give a speech about do not run and he would get the crowd really energized but also make sure it's extremely safe. There's a good reason they no longer do that ceremony here. There are too many people to be centered around a single entrance to the exhibit hall. There's too many people to do that safely. And if the fire marshal were to come in and see too many people in one space without an exit, they could shut down the convention. So, in an effort, I presume, to spread the crowds out, there's a few different ways to get into the exhibitor hall right when it opens. There's this exit at Hall I. I don't know which hall is down there, but there's another entrance to the exhibitor hall on that side. You can also get into the exhibitor hall from the event hall. They're going to open that breezeway up. And the other side of the hall, where that long hallway is that takes you to Lucas Oil, that entrance is also going to open at the same time. So you can, I, you can line up at any of those, and especially if you're eager to get to a very specific booth, pick the entrance that is closest to the booth that you need to be getting to fast for the whole open. But there's many ways to get in. It does not have to be right where I'm sitting. There is no strong need to sit where I'm sitting anymore. There is no ceremony. You don't need to be watching it from here. Additionally, there is actually an official opening ceremony event that is from 9 to like 9.45 in Ballroom 500. That location may change over the years, but right now it's in Ballroom 500 and they always do an excellent job and have an excellent event planned for that. So there's an address from the president, people on the board, key staff members will talk about what's coming up and what they're excited about. The folks that run Gen Con TV, like Javion and Banzai, will be there doing a presentation. And then there's usually a fun concert. And this year, they actually have the McElroy brothers um, doing a bit and doing a fun thing for opening ceremonies. That is then where they will roll the dice. At some point, the event will end. And there's usually enough time to get from Ballroom 500 back to this entrance or any of the entrances and get into the hall without really too much delay. It will not be much after Ken that you can get into the hall. And I think that is a really clever way to spread out the crowd a little bit to make sure that everybody stays safe, that the fire marshal and the rules and stipulations are still being followed. But, but while I've been sitting here, there's been a lot of people asking like, when are they going to roll the dice? When are they going to do the open ceremonies? I thought this was the opening ceremony. That's not a thing the way that it used to be. There's no spectacle happening here. The spectacle is happening in IC, uh, ICC 500 in the ballroom. Um, and yeah, it's fun. I, I still love it. I think people should participate in the running. I think people should watch it. I think people should do the concert. I've done all of those things and I've loved it every time. And just because I'm still here waiting, I'm still chuffed by this. Ah.
named Joshua. Joshua just found me, first Gen Con. Yes. And how are you finding it so far? Uh, it's pretty overwhelming, but I think I'm kind of getting the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, just like, just like Andrew, we gotta go with the flow. Yes, be open-minded yep. and just take advantage of opportunities that show up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any advice for somebody coming in for the first time? Um, it's hard to say because it's my very first <laughs> yeah. time, but probably just take it one step at a time. That's what I. That's yeah. what I'm getting so far. <laughs> Don't get overwhelmed. It's fine. One yes. step at a time. Yes. Thank you so much. Is there somebody you want to say hi to? Um, just everybody who wants to come to Gen Con, I think you should. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. <laughs>
make quick change to them and that way I don't have to buy a new set so let's grab my teeth and come back in and see what we can do but I gotta get all of the way to the western and back and get my teeth changed out so fingers crossed <laughs> I found him. I found him and I'm on my way back. I've got 15 minutes to spare. I am on my way to my first official event. Well, I guess the stink yesterday was, but I guess the first event of day one, we are going to see an event called Get In The Trunk Live by the Glass Cannon Network. And, you know, actual plays or live shows, I'm always like on the fence about, unless I really know who they are and that they're funny. So we're gonna go check them out. If it's not our vibe, we can always leave. And man, I did not get far in that vendor hall. We got to row 500, five rows. Dang, and we didn't even do row one. So I'm gonna have to like get out of this next event and then just bucket through the hall a little bit more just so I can see more things in any given moment and make my way through there a little faster. anymore but they still kind of fit i'm gonna see if the guy will fix them for me and if there's really anything to be done to fix them and make them fit just a little bit better i think they're so cute ah. um and now yeah we're we're just walking the vendor hall uh doing a couple of last rounds initially we made it up to 500 but now we're making down from the back to 2300 so we're gonna see how far we can get through the entire hall before the end of the day we'll see wish us luck
appreciate the, the cliff notes on that. Threaten <laughs> him with an iron bar. Remind him of the incident in the bar. Oh, that's, so we that's, got four stars. Four, so we just okay. hadn't done there. Yeah, we were just, we went there last. Okay. And there would have been one more star buried somewhere in the Once more into the breach. We're exploring the vendor hall. Hi, thank you for saying hi. hi. What's, Absolutely. What's your name? Uh, Rachel. Rachel, thank you for saying hi. Absolutely. I am. Yeah, I watch so, your videos. I'm so blessed and shocked <laughs> that you do that. That's amazing. Is this your first Gen Con? Yes, it is. How is it going? Uh, it is going. I was actually here for trade day. I'm a librarian. Oh, that's so cool. now I get to hang out and actually see the Gen Con side of things. So I've never done trade day. So actually, you're the expert on that. Uh, how did you like it? Uh, very interesting. Uh, they had a bunch of stuff. I, again, librarian. So I had a very specific event that I was going for. But they had stuff for uh, gaming uh, stores. They have things for educators, which I'm kind of falling under. Uh, there was one in particular that was very interesting about you know building gaming communities through uh, partnerships uh, with local gaming stores and uh, the public libraries and your school systems with game clubs and all the rest. I very interesting. That sounds so interesting, and I would spend all day doing that. That's amazing. What are you looking forward to most right now? Oh, uh, well. I, we're going to meet up with some friends on Saturday and I've got a ticket for the game library at Lucas Oil Stadium so that will definitely be interesting. That's so good. Like 2,000 plus games or something and you get to be on the floor so that's kind of cool. I love that and you get to pay whatever you want. It's, that's that's right. great. Well, thank Absolutely. you so much for saying hi. Oh, thank you. And I hope you have an amazing show. You too. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Did you see anything you liked in the hall? Too, too many things, just not enough money. Did you buy anything? Yeah. He sure did. You'll have to show me later. Ken, Dad, did you get anything nice? Yes. Oh, she did get a boob. I got she got two, two boobs. Two boobs. Two boobs. Did you I get did anything else today? Um, I did. I got some technical candlestick holders for my son who requested them. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. I got a bag I'll show you guys later. I may have already shown you. Andrew, did you buy anything today? Oh, yeah. I got the new player's handbook. Oh, that's right. You'll have to show us. Somebody's, somebody's special and lined up and got a ticket. Oh, yeah. Yes. With the help, I'm going to call Nick Jerry. Help me out. Let me know when the tickets actually came back. There you go. You just gotta keep keep checking. Yeah. Keep checking. It's People great, return their tickets all yeah. the time. It's exactly, actually, exactly what I thought it would be, and that's exactly what I wanted. So, it turned out great. Getting Starbucks for a quick pick me up in between games. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving. I've been masking a lot today because I've been seeing a lot of stories on the fans of Gen Con Facebook page about people getting sick. The worst thing that could happen is if Derek gets COVID before the show really gets going. So I'm going to do whatever I can to protect him from getting sick. Me getting sick is going to make everything worse. So um, I'm going to mask up and just make sure that I do whatever I can to avoid having COVID and getting Derek sick because uh, the show needs him and he is powering through and doing God's work out there. <laughs> I got to play the Root RPG by Magpie and it was super fun. Actually, our GM was 
really engaging and really worked with us and just wanted to make cool stuff happen the whole time and I would play that game again that was so fun I want to play more of it my character was a badger called Donna I uh, was an explorer adventure historian type character and uh, everybody at the table was amazing and we just did cool weird stuff and look how quiet it is Ooh, <laughs> that was so funny the quite fat Matt hello what what did you get up to today because you have a totally different perspective of Gen Ken than me and I'd love you to tell people what you did and why you like it I did uh, miniatures I did uh, an event called Tokyo Ho which is kaiju monsters fighting in a city and kaiju monsters fighting on an island uh, very Japanese related uh, did mech warrior pods which are also a lot of fun for those the uh, battle pods the battle tech pods yep and did I you win I did how much did they cost to do? They are eight generic tickets Okay. for seven minutes, but it's a fun seven minutes. I highly recommend it. Uh, they are over in Exhibit Hall A, right smack dab against the wall. You can't miss them. There's a giant Battletech sign right above them. And then you did the Mark Gun stuff. Yep, Mark Gun, uh, Firefly drinking songs. Uh, you also had, I can't remember the other gen gentleman's name, but there was two of them. And they did Firefly drinking songs and some other pop culture songs. And it was a two hour event with a 10 hour, uh, 10 minute uh, break in between. Would you recommend? I would. Oh, I see yeah. it every year I come, like clockwork. He has so much fun at that. And yeah, if that sounds good to you, I think, does he do the cat songs? He does do the cat I songs. I think yeah. I went to see his cat songs once. Now's your time. Will call is empty. So what time is it? 1.10. It's 1.10 and I've been editing my video since about 11 and this is just the end of it. It just kind of ends abruptly so I figured I should wrap up the day. How did your day go today, Derek? Are you having a good day? It was a, it has been a tough setup and initial day. Wait, didn't you just like say that everything was perfect yesterday and you didn't have any problems? I don't recall this. Hmm. Love you too. Do you have any advice, anything to say about today or just advice or? Uh, chill out and enjoy the show and have fun. Get plenty of rest. Mm -hmm. Don't do like I do. Because I'm getting up. It's now one, like Derek said. I'm going to finish editing and then export and upload. So I'll probably be in bed and sleep by two. And then I am meeting Suwada for breakfast at 8, so that means get up at 7, so don't do that. <laughs> get This is your vacation. Sleep in. Enjoy it. Take your time. Chill out. Don't do what we do. It's not a, not a good plan. Anyway, I right, met a lot of really great people today, Derek. There's a person that gave me a little knitting needle gauge measuring thing. So cool. Um, don't don't give me things. <laughs> People don't need to give me things. That was really cool and very sweet, and I I really super appreciate it. But it was just so fun. I I got to say hi to so many people and give people hugs. And the vendor hall had so many cool, amazing things in it. I only bought one thing. I never showed it to you. Let me show it to you right now. Did you tell um, everybody about um, the people that said hi to me because they love you? I don't know if that happens. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that happens, but you should totally say hi to Chandler and Byron and Sawada and Desmond and all of the great people. And you should, uh, they're, they're really awesome. They do a great job at Gen Con and uh, they deserve a little thanks and a hi. I'm trying to get this. Are you gonna stay there? Okay. I'm gonna show you guys the little bag that I got. But it's like buried. And here somewhere, there we go. I believe this might be the only purchase that I've made so far, but it's it's a tote bag and it's a little possum. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, so far that's been my only purchase and yeah, we'll get some more stuff tomorrow. We'll do some more demos. We'll play more games. It's going to be fun. I'm going to take you guys with me and I hope to see way more of you tomorrow and say hi and hugs and meet all of the cool people. Get lots of rest, fuel up. It's gonna be a really fun, great weekend. Bye, bye.
<laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.